be 3 1 2 1 2 y looking at those credentials by microsoft office so this video is basically based on the great graph security weekly talk episode 21 given by daft hack and was they ready from blackers information security so microsoft word document the docx file is in zip archive of xml files so these xml document control the themes fonts and the web settings of document historically the word document used to be an html editor so in this video we will be editing and modifying the frame sets in the word document and setting unc path to lead the windows credentials so now let's create an empty word document and name it something really enticing let's open the document and enter whatever we wish to let's go inside the windows 10 machine we have it over here let's create a new empty document word document let's give it something really enticing name password underscore list okay there's a typo password underscore list we'll open the document and we'll just give a space right we'll save it close the document what next but then since the docx is in zip archive of xml file we'll open it using the archive manager using the 7 zip archive and the file of uh, interest is web settings dot xml Open this thing, right click, 7 zip, open an archive. We're going to the word folder and the file of our interest is web settings dot xml. We'll copy the file inside the archive and then add the frame sets in the web settings dot xml and copy it back inside the archive folder. We'll copy it locally. We'll edit this file. We'll add the frame sets. So, in this frame set, the most important thing is the RID value. So, what exactly RID is? RID value is important since this will be the relationship ID mapped to the XML file inside the those folder. So, this is basically the relationship file, relationship folder. We'll save this, we'll close it, we'll close this word, not bad as well. We'll copy the file back to the archive. The next thing is we'll go inside the relationship folder, those folder. We'll copy this file locally and we'll rename this file as web settings.xml.worlds. xml.worlds we'll edit this file we'll select everything delete it next thing is if we went inside the else folder copy the file outside locally the next thing is to add relationship then copy it back to the archive so the else folder where the target is where the responder will be listening or learning we'll see that what exactly the target is So we'll copy the relationships inside the web settings dot xml dot runs file and this rid so this rid one value maps to the pulls the relationship inside the relationship folder with web settings which is inside the world inside this world you can see it over here right so the same rid value we've given and the target over here so this is a Kali machine running the responder and whenever the user tries to open this document the, uh, the victim will get contacting this and we will get something like this interesting microsoft office update for 783 and the target mode you can set the target mode if it is external you can type as external or internal we'll save this file close it and close this notepad let's paste the file back inside the dialogs folder okay so now we are good we are good to go right send the document to the victim so whenever the windows machine whenever the user or the victim tries to open the document 
Windows machine will automatically try to authenticate to the logged in user to an SMB server. So this bug is very old. It was been reported in 1994 on this insecure.org site. Until date, it still leaks the hashes. We'll set up the attack machine. We'll set up the responder in otherwise mode. Listen for the hashes. Basically, we'll get the NTLMV2 hashes. The command would be responder hyphen i the interface mode hyphen is for external the ip address hyphen b is for basic authentication hyphen capital a is for otherwise and hyphen v is for verbosity so once the victim opens the doc file you will be able to find the hashes of the user right now let's wait for the hashes to rain let's go to the attack machine so we have the command in the terminal waiting for us. Let's fire this command. And we are listening for events. Right. So once you have given the word document to the victim, what the victim does, finds us interesting and it is contacting this. We'll go back to a Kali machine and we find it. Right. This is interesting. Well, let's stop this. Whoa, we got the username with the domain. So, this is domain join machine to AJ Lab, and the user is Tom Hanks. And we have the NTLM V2 hash, right? Interesting, right? So, we got the NTLM V2 hashes of the domain join AJ Lab, and the user is Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is the user. Once you have the hashes, either you can crack them if you have a good cracking leg or delete those hashes or even force them to only LM hashes using the hyphen hyphen LM switch and respond and if you're lucky you'll get LM hashes. And other types of interesting attacks of this type are exoformula injection or the CSV injection, office BD attacks, dynamic data exchange attacks and the SCF file attacks which are shared mind file attacks. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.